In Calcutta Thursday, there were special events to honor the life and work of Mother Teresa, born 100 years ago in what's now Skopje, Macedonia. Sisters of the Missionaries of Charity, the order she founded to serve the poor in the city in eastern India, gathered for a holy mass at their headquarters, Mother House, to mark the occasion. Mother Teresa had established the order back in 1950. It has since opened hundreds of charity homes worldwide to provide comfort and care for the needy, the sick, and the poorest of the poor. Winner of the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979, she had toiled long hours caring for the ill and the destitute in Calcutta slums, even when she was elderly and ailing herself. Mother Teresa died in 1997, three years short of her 90th birthday. She was beatified six years later after the Vatican said an Indian woman's prayers to the nun rid her of an incurable tumor. Millions of Roman Catholics have called for the church to take the next step and elevate her to sainthood. The late Pope John Paul fast-tracked that process, but another miracle would be required in order for her to be made a saint. On Thursday, Mother Teresa's white marble tomb was a focal point for those paying respects and saying prayers. School children, charity workers, and visitors from around the world streamed past. Some people, like Anne-Sophie, were spending time volunteering at the mother house. It's a special day to celebrate with all the sisters. And it's important to celebrate all her work from all her life. Japanese singer Yuka Kanai also was a volunteer at the Missionaries of Charity. I have respected Mother Teresa since I was a kid. I'm a singer. I sing Mother Teresa's songs. I wanted to study Mother's life and Mother's home. And also, I wanted to help people in this place. Mother Teresa isn't without her detractors. But those who came to visit her tomb were her fans. There are plans for special events throughout the coming year, including special feasts to feed the poor, a festival of films on her life and work, and interfaith prayer meetings. India's government plans to release a coin in her honor. Members of her order were boarding specially decorated trams bearing her picture, and Indian Railways is launching the Mother Express, a train that will travel the country carrying a Mother Teresa exhibition. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.